I feel like you are the perfect. So you've lived this life of like being famous since you were five years old. Did you watch the new Britney documentary? I did. I, I want to know your thoughts because you. I mean, look, uh, I, I remember doing, I did an episode of Mickey Mouse Club with Britney and Justin and Christina and JC and, you know, all like that whole Mickey Mouse Club crew. Um, and we all became like friendly at that time. You know, we were, we were just kids hanging out and it was fun. Um, and the funny thing was, is at the time they were all excited to meet me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what about me? Look at all you guys. Um, you know, I think I, I, I don't, I don't know Britney to this day personally, so I cannot speak on her experience of it. But what I can speak on is watching the documentary and watching how we, as a as a public, as a um, as news organizations, you know, uh, as as paparazzi, all that we fed into the destruction of young women at the time, and we continue to do so. Um, and I feel really sorry for her. I know a small piece, a very small piece of what it's like to be constantly followed. Um, nothing on the scale of what she went through. And I can't imagine it. I can't imagine being 16 years old and having, you know, adult men constantly ask you about your boobs at like how fucking inappropriate. Like I watched that and I was like, whoa, whoa, what? I forgot this. Yeah. How did we do this? How did nobody... You know, even Diane Sawyer, like, how did nobody step in and 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 protect her? And I, I, it's just, it's disappointing to me because it is, it's the that ultimate story of um, using someone as a commodity and and not recognizing their value as a human being. Mm -hmm. you know, it's sad. It's sad. I can't imagine. I, I mean, fame fucks with you, regardless of how extreme it is. And on the extreme level like that, I, I don't see how you make it through the other side without being really damaged by it. Yeah. You know?